It is not a conspiracy theory. People will call us a conspiracy theorist, but it's not. I showed the clip in my opening about a teacher speaking to other teachers at a conference about SOGI123, and she is specifically telling the teachers not to use the words boys and girls to address boys and girls, and she equated it to racism when we divide the sexes this way. It is crazy. It really is. And uh, Glenn Hansman, the president of the BCTF, this is his thing as well. We have clips of him saying, you know, uh, you know that we don't need to uh, be addressing boys and girls. We don't use that in other languages, uh, you know, and, and uh, it's his whole desire as an LGBTQ activist to come and step into our schools and basically change our culture. I have some exciting news though, Sheila. I was just in uh, Saskatchewan and uh, there a couple of teachers um, uh, drove two and a half hours in order to meet with me. The exciting news is, is that as parents are beginning to be aware of this and also teachers, you teachers out there, you have a choice. Apparently they are saying that SOGI123 is, you know, completely subjective and it's not mandatory. Although principals and some people are feeling a lot of pressure, especially from the uh, BCTF president telling them that they might lose their uh, teaching licenses. Well, that's sort of fascism, isn't it? And so he's, in, you know, imputing his ideology onto everybody else to teach but as teachers are rising up as parents are rising up the good news is is that they are beginning to change the language even in the SOGI curriculum they're starting to rewrite parts like when they see our interview Sheila they go oh you know what they're all upset about this yeah okay well you know let's pull this back but here's the thing we're not going to be happy until every last bit of this is out of the schools you may not tell our children that they are um, you know gender fluid that right there all of that the gender Gender fluidity stuff it has to go if you want to have a great anti-bullying program there are people that have great curriculums for anti-bullying no Christian kid should be bullied no Muslim kid should be bullied no gay or lesbian kid or trans kid should be bullied there should not be bullying but you do not have to uh, incorporate the teaching of an ideology that is offensive it's unscientific it tramples on the rights of Canadians that is not Canadian and it is not okay and I'll tell you what Sheila it's only just beginning that's an excerpt from my weekly full-length show the gun show on my show I take on the issues of the day through my Alberta conservative lens and I talk to the real newsmakers the mainstream media ignores to get access to my show and all of our other premium content click the link on the screen to subscribe today